Welcome to More to Know on Daily Ad Brief. I'm your host, Kent Lewis. Joining us today from San Diego, California is Andre Rosedahl with Synthesis Insights. Welcome to the show, Andre. Thank you. Uh, I'm excited to be on. Excellent. So in 30 seconds or less, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah. Um, so I've, I've had a career in marketing for about 15 years now. I was in the TV advertising space um, for about 10 of those. And, and now I'm on the agency side and I have uh, a, a agency that focuses on B2B marketing. Fantastic. Short and sweet. Love it. So you've been in the industry uh, quite some time. What would you say are the major challenges that you, other advertisers of the industry or clients are facing today? Yeah, I think um, a lot of issues that I'm seeing with my current clients are becoming too reliant on one platform. And um, with things changing so rapidly in the space, as far as uh, you know, what's working today may not be working tomorrow, it, it can be a little uh, daunting to focus just on one, on one avenue. So uh, you know, something that I'm working on with my clients is spreading out our our efforts on various platforms to ensure that if you know we see a decrease in performance in one area, we can quickly pivot to another area and, and maintain the flow of business. Fantastic. And I agree. I think the, the singular platform world is long gone, but some folks are holding on to that idea. So with that in mind, what would you say are the primary challenges we as marketers are, and advertisers are going to face in the next you know, one to two years, the more mid future. Yeah, as it, it kind of relates back to my previous point about coming to reliant on one platform. And we saw within the last couple of years what happened with uh, Apple's increased privacy um, restrictions. So I, th I think that's going to be an issue for marketers, especially as, uh, as it relates to attribution and analytics, being able to track the entire sales funnel might become more difficult in the interim. So getting a little more creative as far as how your uh, how your systems are working together and being able to attribute performance back to um, various different campaigns. Noted. Got it. And so how have you been dealing in the short term with Apple iOS and the the current and future loss of third-party cookies. What are you doing today for that? Yeah, I think uh, it's just having uh, increased communication directly with, with my clients and making sure that they are also, their marketing departments are in direct communication with their sales department. Um, I think this is kind of just a bigger issue. And uh, it's something that I really try to focus on is connecting the dots between sales and marketing. It's uh, something that uh, a lot of my clients struggle with is they kind of view the two departments separately and, and tend to uh, have uh, disjointed communications where one department kind of takes credit or blames the other department for various uh, you know, wins or, or losses. So having a tight communication between the, the two areas is, is, is really critical to being able to uh, attribute back performance. Um, improve your messaging and, and, and all those areas that kind of go back to classic marketing. Makes total sense. Um, one last question. Are you on Be Real? I am not on Be Real. Okay. So I'm not sure exactly where brands are going to be able to take it, but I highly recommend checking out the antithesis of Instagram. It's a really interesting platform, and I think we'll find that um, – with what's going on with Twitter and others, that uh, Eero might be a might be a breakthrough. I don't think it'll be a TikTok, but uh, yeah, it's it's not so much the ad side opportunity as much as a personal interest in getting other people's feedback about it. But anyway, uh, so great great uh, great insights today, Andre. Thank you so much for your time and sharing your knowledge with us. Yeah, definitely. I appreciate yeah. having me on. You bet. To find out more about this episode's guest and topic, please visit dailyadbrief.com. We hope you'll join us next time on More to Know.
Simplify presents Addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's Addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's Addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.